Hi, thanks for watching. Um, in this episode, I decided to um, upgrade the uh, one of the switches in my uh, network cabinet. So uh, at the same time, I decided to uh, that I would give it a clean out because um, it hasn't been done for a while. So uh, uh, so let's get on with it. I'll probably cut the video because you don't want to just see me cleaning the whole thing out. Uh, so I'll come back again later on. By the way, um, I'll put all the links to the uh, things, tools um, and the cabinet that I'm using uh, in the video. So uh, have a look at those and see what you think. Um, this, uh, I'll be taking the door off the cabinet first, which easily unclips. So I'll remove that. <coughs> Makes it easier to uh, access the uh, network devices. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is powering off all the devices and disconnecting the mains power from the cabinet uh, power supply. All the mains cables have now been disconnected and the power to the cabinet has been turned off on the uh, power distribution box. Next thing is to remove all the uh, cables. I'm just re removing the um, SFP transceiver modules because uh, I have a couple of uh, 10 gig uh, devices but um, I'll be uh, having some more 10 gig devices later on. That's removed all the uh, cables so I'm just re removing the uh, NAS devices now. I'm using uh, Synology NAS devices. The way I have my network set up is that um, I have my uh, home office, um, every device in the home office has been uh, connected by a Cat6 cable, um, but the uh, other devices in my house, um, on the other floors and in the other rooms, are all connected via Wi-Fi, um, which made it a lot easier rather than running Cat6 cables around the house. I do intend to move at some point, um, and I'm hoping that uh, I might be able to get Cat6 cables run uh, throughout the uh, new home, um, which makes the connection a bit more reliable than uh, Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is good nowadays, but you still can't beat uh, Cat6 Cat or Cat5 cable connections, to be honest.
I'll go ahead and remove the rest of the cables and I'll be back um, shortly. Um, last thing to remove now is the uh, switch which I'll be replacing for PoE switch. I'm, I'm using an electric screwdriver. I'll put a link below down to this uh, what I'm using. electric screwdriver rather than a manual one. That's that. There is a lot of dust in it so it's uh, definitely needed doing. And then it's just a case of uh, removing the uh, patch panel and the shelf and then just vacuum it um, and then wipe it out with a damp cloth and then dry it off before you put the uh, any devices back in. And I'll come back to you when I'm ready to put the um, network devices in the cabinet. Whilst uh, cleaning uh, I decided to uh, upgrade the switch. So uh, I now the owner of a USW Pro 24 port PoE switch and it has 60 PoE plus ports and 8 PoE plus plus ports. Okay so we'll get that into the cabinet now. I've already connected the uh, power cable into the uh, other end but it's not switched on yet so I'll connect it to the back of the switch before we mount it into the rack which makes it easier to connect the cable afterwards. It can be a fiddly job. Put the rack mount screws in by hand first and then tighten them up properly afterwards. Hold the switch in place, balance it level, and then tighten them up. Let's check. Underneath that, I'm going to be uh, also installing a uh, Unify aggregation switch. Um, as I do have some 10 gigabit devices, my NAS gigabit network interface in it, also, my PC has a 10 gigabit network interface. Here's the uh, aggregation switch. Um, it is quite narrow, um, narrower than what I thought there would be actually, but it's a uh, quite a neat device. Um, take the uh, label off the uh, front panel display. Um, as you can see, it's got um, eight 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. Finding the uh, rack mount ears which come in the box. I'll just be uh, screwed those in place. It would be really great if you could uh, drop some likes um, or even subscribe. That would be a really great help to the channel. Helps me produce more content. Okay, the last ear going on now. Um, rack mount ear if you can see it. Hopefully on camera, using the electric. I'll just put all the links to my uh, equipment I'm using. The next thing is a uh, power cable. Let's up the uh, aggregation switch. That's going below the uh, PoE switch in the uh, cabinet. screws in and tighten them up slightly by hand first and then uh, finish them off with the uh, electric screwdriver once I've got all four screws in the uh, rack mount ears to either side. Aggregation switch is now in the cabinet. 
power cable connected so I just feed the power cable through to the back and underneath the power distribution switch in my cabinet which you probably can't see on camera is just right at the bottom of the uh, rack mount cabinet then uh, below the uh, aggregation switch I'm going to put, be putting the uh, dream machine back in, in place the uh, final rack mount piece of equipment that's going in And I'm not turning on the power to any of the devices until I've got it in place. UDM Pro. So. Um, you'll probably notice that uh, I tend to leave uh, a gap, um, one uh, rat mount stud gap in between my devices um, because I think it allows a lot more circulation around your devices rather than squashing them right up together. It's easier for dusting as well. Uh, so I'll carry on and put the nasses back in. Now uh, finally I've got everything uh, back in the network rack, all the cables um, power cables, Cat6 cables connected up, NAS drive um, with the SSD drives in it. Uh, this is where I store most of my files. Then next to it I've got a DS220 Plus which is an offline backup NAS um, which is set to backup once a week from the uh, main network NAS. So above that we've got the UDM Pro which um, is connected to, into port 9, internet going in to the UDM Pro from my Virgin Media um, modem. Then from the SFP Plus port 11 goes into the um, one of the ports on the uh, Unify aggregation switch. Then one of the ports on the Unify aggregation switch goes out into the uh, Unify 24 port PoE switch. Also coming out of the Unify aggregation switch is another connection to my um, workstation PC which has a 10 gigabit um, network connection to it. Then from the uh, 24 port PoE switch I've got various devices connected ready to uh, power on the uh, devices, put the door back on, um, it's actually a Perspex clear fronted door, um, it's easy access as well, so I'll just wait for that equipment to start back up, um, and that's it for this episode, please subscribe to the channel, it helps me out greatly, thank you for watching.